Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on a drugstore product. It is actually from Wet n Wild and I picked this product up in my haul that I did last week. So if you guys have not watched that, go over to my channel and watch that or I will probably link it down in the description box. But today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the all day wear wet n wild photo focus setting spray and I'm so excited to be doing a first impressions on this because I have heard some things about it and I heard that it's um pretty good which I'll let you guys know here in a minute um but then again I haven't really seen much on this so I don't know how new this product is but here is the packaging just in case you guys can see my haul I actually watched a video from Tati. I believe she did a video that was called Best Like Five and Under or something like that. I'll leave that down in the description box as well. But she was saying that this was as good as the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray or is it the Chill Setting Spray? I don't remember what it's called. But I believe it was like the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm really excited. I have never tried that Urban Decay setting spray before however you guys know that i love the l'oreal infallible one so i'm just going to basically base my opinion off of that one and compare those two so of course you guys can see i have my makeup on today um i put a little more makeup than i usually do i have some foundation blush highlighter i put something on my face that i'm doing a first impressions on that isn't going so well right now but um that should be coming in the future however um I pretty much have like a light eye on nothing too dramatic I just wanted to keep it nice and simple and just really test out this but yeah let, that's enough of me babbling let's just get this on my face it actually is really nice packaging it actually feels like some really nice like thick packaging even the lid is really nice so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all over my face I'm afraid actually I'm gonna spray it out first cuz you know how like when you first open up like a spray bottle, it kind of has like the, like the big globs. I'm just gonna spray a couple times. It has a very nice scent. I noticed that. <laughs> it actually really like came out as a mist, like a setting spray really should. Hmm. So far I'm liking it. I'm actually going to put a little more. I know I'm kind of going overboard, but I just really want to test this out. Okay. My face is very, very wet. So I'm just going to fan my face and I'll be right back in a second. Alright, so I have just put the setting spray on. And so far, my first impressions, I really like how it um, came out of the bottle. It actually came out of the nozzle a lot nicer than my L'Oreal Infallible one. Even just opening this, I'm noticing that it really comes out a lot easier and distributes all over the face a lot easier. And it's not like that really bad like spray nozzle where like, like I was explaining how it really comes out like in big globs or almost like raindrops kind of looks like. It's just a really nice mist that you can really get all over the face. I can't feel it on my face, but it looks like it left a really nice kind of look on my face. Um, I'm not noticing it being dewy or matte or anything, but I feel like it's going to be really good. I have some high hopes for it, I'm hoping, it's especially if it's compared to the Urban Decay one. I'm hoping it'll be good, but if it's going to be that good, then I won't have to go spend so much money on that setting spray. So I'm actually going to be kind of updating you guys throughout the day, how my makeup looks. I do know how long my makeup lasts about, so I'll be really, really comparing it to that. And of course, I'll be comparing it to my L'Oreal Infallible one. This one is a lot cheaper. This one doesn't have as much in the bottle. The L'Oreal Infallible one comes with 3.4 fluid ounces. This one comes with 1.52 fluid ounces. Um, but if this one is better and it's five bucks, I mean, I definitely pay that much. So yeah, like I said, I will update you guys throughout the day. As of right now, I am really liking it, but I will see you guys in just a bit. All right, everyone, so it is time for the first check-in. It is 12.41 and I did my makeup and put the spray on about two hours ago. So I'm going to just kind of update you what my skin looks like, if I think 
it made my makeup last a little longer. By now, my makeup would be um, kind of setting into my face a little different. Usually it looks a little more dry. Sometimes if I have bigger acne, my makeup starts to remove from that area as well and my redness shows through a little more. So I'm just gonna look into the mirror and let you guys know what I'm thinking. I noticed my makeup has removed from this acne spot right here. I don't know why I'm starting to break out there again. Um, but overall, my makeup actually looks pretty dang good. Looks a little drier than usual, but I didn't exfoliate last night, so it's kind of my fault. But as of right now, my makeup looks pretty good. It'll look better than usual. I usually don't have this much coverage. I put my makeup on around like like my foundation around like 7 in the morning when I'm getting ready for school and about two hours later I go and look in the mirror and that's when it kind of starts to wear off but it did set into my skin a little it's starting to get a little dry around here but that's my fault of course but does this make my makeup last longer so far I would definitely say yes my L'Oreal infallible one um, would it looks kind of similar, but I feel like this one's working a little bit better. I will do another check-in in a couple, maybe a few hours, just give it some time and really update you guys on whether this product is working or if it's just working better than my L'Oreal Infallible one. So I will keep you posted and I'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, everyone, it's time for another check-in. It is about 3.30 right now, so it's been a couple hours that have passed by. And I am ready to check my foundation and my makeup in general um, and how it looks so far. Put my makeup on around 11 or no, maybe it was around 10.30. So I've had it on for quite a bit. Um, looking into the mirror, I'm noticing that a lot more makeup came off of this acne spot I have right here kind of disgusting but we got to get up close and personal so I can let you guys know how this is working I do notice that I have some makeup kind of coming off my nose but that's because I was going like this because um, my nose got itchy and my acne I have a couple of piece, spots right here I noticed that there's a little bit missing I also ate so it's pretty much in the area where I would touch my face the most so far it looks really really good it still has some pretty decent coverage on my cheeks. My makeup doesn't seem to be coming off that much like it usually would, like on my cheeks and stuff. Um, eyeshadow and everything, and my mascara actually looks kind of good. And same with my eyebrows. By now, my eyebrows would be kind of like, I mean, I need to brush them, so they're going a little cray cray. By now, like, my brow product would be like a little bit lighter. But it actually still looks pretty decent. I'm sh I don't know if it looks the same in camera. I noticed my brow highlight is a little off. But my for some reason my brow highlight always comes off. I always touch it up throughout the day. But overall I do think that my makeup is staying on a lot longer. So far I really have a hard time with keeping my makeup on. But I did not use a primer which I usually do. And the reason I did not use a primer was because I really just wanted to try this out. And I am kind of out of my main primer. So, I will be getting a new primer soon after I get my camera and I save up some money to go shopping again. I will probably check in with you guys either in a couple hours or I will be checking in with you after Jude leaves. So, I will see you guys in just a bit. Alright everyone, so it is time for a final check-in. Um, I'm looking pretty bad right now. Um, that's kind of normal i really wanted to touch up my makeup i was going to but i'm gonna go wash it off anyways i'm just gonna look into the mirror tell you guys what i think like what's going on with my face and just my makeup in general and then i think i'm gonna touch up my makeup just a smidge and then pretty much wrap up this video and give my final thoughts okay so looking into the mirror my mascara looks like crap but that's usually normal um, it's kind of starting to crumble off. Um, I'm noticing the color in my eyebrows is pretty much gone. Pretty much wherever I have acne, I'm starting to break out now because like I was explaining in one of my other videos, I believe, 
where I live, it keeps going like cold, warm, cold, warm, really warm, now really cold. And my face just doesn't know how to react with that. And I touch around this area so much and I need to learn how to stop. I'm learning that a little bit of my redness is showing through. My eyeshadow obviously doesn't look as good. However, my skin really doesn't look horrible by now. Well, it's been about 8 hours because it's 8 o'clock. I don't know if I mentioned that. That's about around the time that I wear my makeup. And by now, my I just look like crap. Like, horrible. Like, five times worse. I feel like my camera's making me look a lot worse. Overall, I really, really like this product. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing it. I'm not sure if it compares to the Urban Decay All Nighter finishing spray, but... I like it. It's a really nice setting spray from the drugstore. If I could give one tip, I would definitely say wear a primer with it. I did not wear a primer with today with my foundation because I really wanted to test it out and I'm really surprised how good it worked without a primer. So I feel like if you wore a primer under this, it would work a lot better. So that's just a little tip for you guys. And I have dry skin and it didn't seem to irritate my skin at all. I will continue to use it and if anything bad happens, like my skin breaks out or something, I'll let you guys know in an upcoming video. It's kind of up to you guys, but expect to see it in some makeup tutorials. I'm gonna try and remember to put on my setting spray because I always forget in makeup tutorials. I'm really happy that I got to try this out for you guys. I kind of like it a lot more than my L'Oreal Infallible one. Can't believe I'm saying that. I would probably continue to use it, but maybe I won't. I kind of like this one a lot better. So yeah, that is my first impressions on the Wet n Wild All Day Wear Photo Focus Setting Spray. And I hope you guys really enjoyed. I know I love watching first impressions because, you know, you really get what people think like right away and I don't know I just kind of like filming these videos and trying out products and letting you guys know whether a product is good or bad before you go and buy the product and not like it because I have bought so many bad makeup products so I kind of like to help you guys out a bit I think a and a little sit down chit chat video is definitely due this week um, I didn't do a and a last month and I said that I would like to at least do a and a once a month and before I forget um, I think it's time we do a Q&A, so if I could ask you guys anything, could you please leave any comments down below, down in the comment area. You guys can ask me anything, pretty much open to answering anything. You can ask me anything about me, my family, my friends, me and my boyfriend, pretty much anything like that, but I kind of just want a more sit down chit chat video, and I know that... I missed two videos, so I kind of just want to catch up with you guys and just sit down and talk with you guys so you guys can just sit and relax and come over to my channel. I'd like to film it on Friday, so I'd like you guys to just, you know, Friday is usually the day where I just sit down and watch YouTube, so I think it'd be nice after like a long day of work or school, just anything like that, that you guys can come over to my channel and just sit down with some popcorn or something or a nice drink and just sit down and have a little chit chat like little q a and get to know me better and i just think that would be really fun so if you guys could leave some comments down below in the comment area that would be so nice of you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the like button down below and if you guys are not subscribed to my channel then definitely hit the subscribe button and if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button as well to be notified when i post a new video and i would love to have you watch my future videos so yeah thank you guys so much i will see you guys next time